<laughs> yes! Finally! At long last! Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Jurabi Therian bringing you a let's play of AI The Somnium Files Nirvana Initiative. Ah, oh, at long last, we're finally here at Oh man, how long has it been since I played the, like the you know, the last game? How long? How long? I think it was like a uh, a year or two at most. <laughs> yes, yes, your eyes do not deceive you. This game is finally out at long last. And you can bet your sweet ass I'm gonna spend sixty dollars on this day one. You bet your sweet ass I'm gonna like let's play this day one. Well, technically it's kind of like a uh, day two since it's like one a.m. But still. Day one, bitches. Get in. We're about to bash people's skulls open with Mizuki's metal pipe. Yes. Oh, God. I cannot wait to, like, voice Mizuki. It feels like it's been centuries since I, you know, last voiced her. God, it's gonna be so good. Okay, so, a few things that I, uh, I have to really get out there. So, obviously, fucking music. Oh, it's so Beautiful. The music in the last game was so amazing, guys. Like, I didn't really, like, comment much on the music because I was so focused on, like, everything else. But, God, this, like, music is just so, so good. I don't know what, what they're fiend, like, the, you know, the music team of this game. But, whatever it is, it's working. There's also a bonus menu here as well. Alright, so, first off, I don't know what's going to happen in this game. I didn't watch, like, the trailer for, like, that gives us the premise of this game or, like, uh, you know, whatever, like, uh, uh, characters we might see in this game. Aside from, like, the, the main posters. But I did do a video on, like, uh, you know, the posters, the characters that I saw. So, obviously, I don't know what the fuck's gonna happen in this, like, episode, and that's the best part. Alright, so, what are my expectations for this game? The mind fucks, obviously. God, I still remember my reaction to the big plot twist of with like Saito Tsujima. Oh God, that had me into a state of hysteria. I was like so, I was losing it, guys. I was losing it. And apparently, mind fucks are normal occurrences with like Uchi. I don't, I don't forgot. I forgot his name. Uchi Kushi or whatever his name is. Basically, like causing mind fucks. That's his shtick. And you know what? I'm all for it, Kushi. Give me your best shot in this one. Alright, what else am I expecting? I'm hoping that, like, the, you know, the Somnium worlds, like, I think, I, I'm kind of, like, uh, embarrassed to admit this, but, like, I barely use the map function in, like, you know, the Somnium world, so... I don't think the Somnium worlds are going to be bad from now on, because I know about the, the map functions in this game. Or at least, like, uh, in the last game, at least. And another thing I'm expecting? The jokes. Please? Just... Go all out for the jokes, please. I am really, like, ready to get to laugh my ass off of this game. Because I actually did like the humor in AI Somnium Files. I really did. It was so funny and, like, just so wacky in its own nature. I, I couldn't I couldn't help but, like, enjoy it. There is the issue that, like, uh, sometimes they overdo the jokes. And sometimes they overdo certain, like, aspects of the, you know, like... Of a pun or like a a certain like a gimmick like you know funny joke, I'm hoping that like there's some like like better improvement on that angle. Cause I'm gonna be honest, I have to be very honest like about the criticisms I didn't point out in the last game. I understand fully that the jokes can get really old if you don't love them. It's a hit and miss situation with like the the last game's comedy. But overall, in my opinion, the, the comedy really hit more than missed. So I'm all for it if it returns in this game. So anyways, guys, let's get the bashes some skulls up with Mizuki's metal pipe, shall we? First off, options. Is there difficulty in this game? I just saw the difficulty. What, what the fuck? Is there difficulty in this game? Alright, gotta like, uh, lower the, the background music a little bit. Voice volume. Cursor speed. I'm on like uh, my PS4 because it's not out on PC yet. God dang it. It was so much better on PC though. I see, never mind, never mind. I hope, I hope that the stupid, like, quick time events do not appear here again. Fuck those things. I hated those in, like, uh, you know, the last game. First person vertical camera. I don't know how that works. I don't know what, like, is normal in Japanese, so let's wait and see. Font size, uh, large. Display type. Letter by letter, display all. Hmm. Letter by letter, that's like, it feels like it's a lot better just to make sure I don't skip ahead of things. Skip type, high speed or skip. Skipping first time scene, on or off. 
Meh, off. Actually, wait, hold on. Skipping first time scene. Okay, okay. So this must mean that there's gonna be like multiple instances of us going through the same scene or something. Like in the last game, it's gonna be like parallel world shit. Great. Okay, uh, keep it on. Just in case I do run into those things. I'll change it as we go on. Actually, what's the difficulty here? What is this? Difficulty request sheet. Please check off your requested categories below to submit your, to your superior. Standard. This is the recommended difficulty for Q Oh no! Why? That is so garbage though. Nah, fuck that. Fuck, fuck the QTEs. No, th they're not good. They're not good. Okay, Somnium count. This is recommended setting. Should provide just the right amount of tension. Yeah, I keep that in the highest difficulty because the Somnium worlds, they really are like the only like source of like difficulty you can have in this game. Quick time events, they fucking suck. All right, that should be it. All right, what's the bonus menu? Actually, you probably shouldn't like click that. Outfits. You can use eyeballs here to purchase bonus content. Uh, I see. By progressing the story, more bonus content will be unlocked. Okay, I get it, but I'm not gonna see it yet. Now oh, there's Ayaba, her cute, adorable little self. All right, guys, let's get started on this wacky new mystery adventure of ours. Dude, it's so sweet. Oh, seriously? Okay, whatever. Uh, sorry, uh, QTEs. Fuck that shit. Uh, Somnia World Sander. Okay, there you go. That must be better. The game features autosave, obviously. Thank God. We're gonna, like, find someone else dead here, too, like, at the beginning, like, with, like, a... What was her name? Oh, yeah. 210, Stranger Tale, Converse Chapter Zero. Huh. Didn't start with, like, a death or something. What? <laughs> what?! Hello? This is a weird way to start the game off. In the last game, like, we started with, like, a, a serious moment with, like, a, uh, what was her name again? Like, Mizuki's mother being killed. What's this now? Ryuki. Oh, yeah, that's the, is this the dude who's going to be at the poster, the main character? Hey there, boss. You okay, Ryuki? Oh, wow, you actually look, did they, like, improve the sprites of this game? They look a little bit better, actually. Question. And these weird blue people. Are we in a Somnium world or something? In Indian mythology, what is the name of the half god, half beast spirits that imbibe sense and are known for their musical ability? Um. Would you like to view the tutorial? Uh. Yes, please. I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> Alrighty, I'm confused. Investigation. Inspecting people and objects will progress the story. You can freely move the cursor and camera. First, look around and set the cursor on objects that interest you. Alright, what the fuck's going on now? Alrighty. A monitor. Monitor. This blue-looking person here. Okay, what's this monitor here? Yeah, I learned from the, like, the last, like, uh, game. Apparently, like, I missed out on a lot of dialogue in the first episode, unfortunately. A monitor. Alright, and there. It's a floor here. A button. An answer button. A big monitor. Wait a minute, is, is the frame rate a little bit, like, slower here? Or is it just me? Can I, like, check the, uh, menu? Oh, here it is, I think. Because it feels like the, the frame rate's a little bit slower here. Access has many functions such as file, flowchart, and options for this menu. This game has autosave, but you can also save the game whatever you want. Okay, thank you. Menu. If you want to exit the game, you can go back to the title screen from the top menu located on the bottom left. Alrighty. Well, I don't want to like look at all this yet. Yeah, I don't. Let's just keep going into whatever wacky adventure this is. God dang, this is already weird. And uh, the camera moves really fast if it wants to, doesn't it? What the cursor mean? Okay, hey there, boss. Oh my god, your tits are so big as, as usual. Options and look. When viewing a person, options and look will be displayed. In Indian mythology. Oh, what? 
What is the name of the half god, half beast spirits that imbibe sense and are known for their musical ability? Okay, I was kind of like uh, trying to like uh, move the thing forward. Actually, there it is. By choosing a topic from the options, you can talk to them. By choosing look, you can observe that person. Okay, thank you. I think I already knew this. If you know the answer, spit it out. Hmm. Seems like the uh, audio is a little bit weird here. Wait, what? Can you tell me about you? Okay. Um. What? Tama's room. This is Tama's room. You can communicate with Tama, ask for life advice, or dress her in different clothes. Life advice. Experienced AI will give you advice. Worried about school? Okay, this is a lot to like uh, take in. What the fuck's going on? I mean, I'm kind of happy to finally have like a big titty like Iba, but this is a little bit too early. Okay, guys. Oh God. Okay, can I please just go back to what I was doing and just go from there? Okay, so I can just like uh close that and look, boss. Interesting. Where am I? What? You're joking, right? What are you talking about? Oh yeah, that's right. I was supposed to like uh, change the options before this like uh, tutorial interrupted me for whatever reason. Because the background music is a little bit too loud for my tasting. For my taste. Hopefully, this is a little bit better. Hopefully. All right. So what am I doing here oh, exactly? Just press the button already. You see that button on the table, right? Yeah, question, I do. And you get to answer the question. Okay. Moving the camera, move the camera around, and try pressing the answer button on top of the table. Alrighty. Oh, we can expand it too. Nice. Come on, what's this long table here? Ugh, I really missed PC. It would've been so much better to like aim this. A long table, a door, and a button over there, but I can't, you know, click on it. Alrighty, that should be everything. I missed this so much. Just like looking around the area. Oh yeah, that's right, this old like host guy too. Okay, uh, who are you? Nope, I don't know what's going on. Why do you look like that? Look like what? <laughs> okay. It would appear that I'm on a quiz show as one of the contestants. The person asking the questions must be the host. But why is he all blue? Maybe he's feeling down. <laughs> Maybe. Ah, how about this? I'll repeat the question for you, okay? Yeah, because I kind of like uh, forgot about it. Like. In the span of like what ten minutes? In Indian mythology, what is the name of the half god, half beast spirits that imbibe sense and are known for their musical ability? Now remember, the other teams can press their buttons too if they know the answer. For some reason, they didn't like press the buttons. It's that button right on top of your table. All right. He seems to be the host. All right then. Uh, where's my button? Really? That's. That's my button too? Okay, answer button. Not the answer button for the quiz. Oh, hello there. Why don't you press it? Tama. You mean this button? <laughs> what the f what what's this dude's like uh, face? He looks so like dead inside. It's like, oh god, do I really have to do this? What are this place is? Is this really a Somnium world? Stop asking questions, Fuki! Yeah, that's my new boss voice. Yeah. You better hurry, or the other teams are gonna answer before you. Alrighty. There we go. Team Popo was the quickest. And your answer is Okay. Place your cursor on the host and try answering the quiz question. So I really have to fucking do it. I don't really know. In Indian mythology, what is the name of a half god, half beast spirit that imbibe sense and are known for their musical ability? Place your cursor on the host, try answering the questions, okay. I wonder if it's in the logs or something. It probably is, or something. Some kind of like information or file. Let me see. File investigation documents. File will allow you to check key terms and information. This will be populated as you progress the story. All right. Persons, six years ago. Persons present. Oh, there's like two categories for this? Interesting. I think it's a p in trivia, right? Nope. I figured they would. Give me a pendex. 
forward. Popo. Nope. Not there. Alright, well, well, we're fucked. I don't know the answer, guys. I don't know the answer. But I'm gonna guess. Guard Harva. Seder. Date. Centaur. <laughs> Date. Or what's a date? I don't know. Hmm. Half god, half beast. I think centaurs are like a uh, half human, so it's not that. Oh, actually, no. I think it's satyrs. No, satyrs are like half human, half goat. Centaurs are half human, half like a uh, horse. I kind of want like an answer with like a date, but I feel like this will have like consequences. So, Gandharva. That is correct. The answer is Gandharva. God, I'm smart. Team Popo gets 10 points for the correct answer. Good job, Ryuki. Keep it up. Oh, yeah. Okay, can I like leave now? Okay, nope. let's keep going then, shall we? Next question. Are you familiar with the new Cyclops serial killings? What? Uh, what? Oh, there's no way. There's no fucking way they're going by that plot line. No, no. Not you, Mr. Ryuki. Yeah, it's probably just a joke. This question is for the person on the other side. What? Are they breaking the fourth wall here? Uh, who was that? Uh. Okay. Um. Boss, do you know what, what, what that was? I thought I heard a voice just now. Yes. Yes. Okay, boss, you're acting weird. Even weirder than when Saito was inside your body last game. The new cycle of serial killings? The questions in this quiz aren't aimed at you, Ryuki. They're for you. On the other side. What? For me? I don't understand what you're saying. This is a weird way to start the game off. What a strange quiz this okay, is. So? Seems like a normal quiz to me. Where the fuck are we? You gonna answer me or not? Of course they don't get the answers. Great. Alright, host. Why ask about that? This show. Can I hear the question again? This show. This is the Faith to Face Special, a six-hour quiz show live stream marathon. Have you forgotten? Okay, can I hear the question again? The question is whether or not you're familiar with the new Cyclops serial killings. Easy, right? I guess so. Why ask about that? Hurry now, your answer, please. Okay, okay, I'll give you my best, like, answer. I'll answer the button for you. Oh, and Team Popo presses the button. You must be ready to answer. What a weird name, Team Popo. What, is it like a reference to our black hair or something? Like, we're kind of like Popo? Like, from DBZ? Ah, but before you do... Yeah? I want you to take this question very seriously. The new Cyclops serial killings. The incident in which many victims got their eye gouged out and murdered. Yeah? Are you or are you not familiar with it? I'm pretty familiar with it. This is the call to if we can dig into the details of that incident in the coming six days. What? In other words, we're asking if we can give you spoilers for the first game. <sighs> is this game like breaking the fourth wall in me or something? They've never done that that many times in like, you know, the last game. The fuck? But the even if you don't know anything about it, it won't affect how you progress through this game. It, this must be a tutorial thing. This must be. The Cyclops serial killings and what you're about to experience, they have nothing to do with each other. Promise. It won't be like some major mindfuck or anything. It turns out, oh wait, there is another Cyclops killer. So please, just tell me honestly. I don't trust the writers at this point. This is probably the... Uh, Something to do with Cyclops killings. I know it. I know it. That tweet is a lie. Are you familiar with the new Cyclops serial killings? Yes, I am. Are you familiar with the new Cyclops serial killings? Uh, yeah. I, to, I guess you have to answer him, right? I am. Are you sure? Don't be lying now. Let's give you a simple test just to make sure. Yeah, of course. Don't worry, I'll Who ace this. The new Cyclops serial killings was Kaname Date of Abyss. 
On the final day of that investigation, someone was shot in the leg by the culprit. Who was that someone? Yeah, it was Mizuki. No give me their last name. First name only, please. On the day of the final cycle of killing, who was the one who was got shot in the leg? It's Mizuki. Oh god, that still fucking hurt, by the way! Mizuki. That's how you like spell the name, right? Mizuki. Actually, let me check. I gotta make sure, because I might get this wrong. Just by the spelling alone. Okay, I got it right. Don't worry. No need to worry. Yep, it's Mizuki, all right. Right after she bashed Saito's skull open with a metal pipe. Yeah, even though I thought, kind of thought it was Date at first. Oh, not bad. You're correct. All right. But you could have just gotten lucky. How about we go for one more round? Sure. Who is the true culprit of the new Cyclops serial killing? Answer with just the first name again, please. Let's have it. Okay. It was Saito. Saito Sejima. Wonderful. That's another right answer. Yeah, I know my AI Somnium Files lore, even though I've only like played the game like uh, you know, two years ago. Sorry for doubting you. You really do know about the new Cyclops killings. All right, can we get on with the game? Did you hear that sound? That means the next question will be the last. Are you serious? Are you ready? Come on. A precognitive dream is a dream that lets you see the future. But these precognitive dreams. What? Are they really? Truly? Uh. Real? Okay. It can't be. What's wrong? Are you okay? Are you okay? Uh. Hello? The fuck kind of 30 minutes start was this? Okay. Fucking me. That was wild. Oh yeah, there's Mizuki. Yes! God, it looks so cool. Even though the frame rate is a little down right now. Be careful, Mizuki. I've detected a biological response. There, I, but oh my god, your eyes look, looks a little different, doesn't it? Guessing it's like depending on your emotions. Three o'clock, distance of three hundred fifteen feet, in the middle row of seats. Yeah, I can see that, Iba. Uh, Oh, X. Alright. Alright, with an action scene. Oh, it's just using a gun, too. Okay, Iba Special Mose. During the story, with the power of Iba, you can gain special visual information. Right now, you can use the zoom plus night vision mode function. Select zoom NV icon to inspect the enemy with audience seat. Okay, uh... Oh yeah, there it is. Okay, so zoom. Iba, zoom in. Night vision mode. Roger that. There they are. Actually, look at the other places. I get seat. I don't see anyone. 
Hmm. Hey, don't worry, I'll just like, do my usual stuff. No sign of anyone in the seats. Just making sure I look at everything before I look at the one person I need to like shoot. Don't worry, I got this, I got this. Entrance, exit. X-ray. Use the X-ray next. Understood. There they are. Entrance exit. There's, it's where the spectators enter. Obviously, totally. I in seat. No sense of any seats. All right, figure. Found you. Who is that? Identity unknown. Judging from their figure, they appear to be female. Ah, so she's jealous, huh? I bet that's it. Why else would another girl target me? <laughs> oh my god, this gawky attitude. I miss it so much. You can't think of any other reason? Nope. Well, sure, but I'm really cute, you know? <laughs> That's why other girls don't like me much. I'm fairly certain that has more to do with your personality. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be such a fun di dynamic between these two. Alright, figure. Mizuki, load Evolver with a stun grenade round. You should be able to knock your opponent unconscious by detonating it near them. Oh no, fuck that! I'm gonna like, put my metal pipe right inside my gun and then I'm gonna shoot it right at them! Just like, knock them out! And you just imagine just like, Mizuki just like, uh, putting a, her metal pipe right inside her gun. That's definitely so funny. Got it. How old is Mizuki, actually? Should she really be like, uh, supplied with these okay, like, big bullets? Ready. This guy, like, worrisome. Alright, at least they're like, uh, giving us a tutorial these, like, stupid quick time events. Not like they're the best AI summoning your files ass. R2. What's with this girl? Well, that was easy. Where'd she go now? Damn it! Detecting the target's footsteps. They seem to be heading toward the stadium exit. Ugh. Can't let them get away. Mizuki, wait. Even you won't be able to catch up to them. More importantly... Yeah, who's that person in the middle of the, like, the football field? There's... something there. Wait a minute, is that like... The... Uh, the body of Saito Sejima? Yes. No fucking way. Hey, that's... You recognize him? Yeah, I'm sure of it. I'll never forget. It's... Who's this? The left half of his body. His name is Jin Furoe. Oh, jeez. That's his... Oh, God. This is the half of his body? I remember it clearly. Six years ago. At Studio Divita. The... Right half of his body. So what? So people got sliced in half? Oh, jeez. That's one step above, like, getting your eyeball pulled out. Ryuki, what's wrong? Pull yourself together. Okay, we're back here, whatever this is. Where am I? Don't tell me you were sleeping. Oh, hey, there's... I didn't... I didn't... I, I'm sorry. I was, like, really shocked. I was like, oh, hey, there's Momo and that fat dude and Iris and, and young Mizuki. Who falls asleep in the middle of a live stream? <laughs> Mr. Ryuki, you're working under Boss, right? Boss, have you been giving him vacation time? She's probably working him to the bone on his off hours, too. Hey, Moba, I, I really missed you a lot, dude. Your your voice actor was amazing, actually, in the last game. I resent that. That is not true. I just have him scrape the stratum corneum off my heels every once in a while. 
Nope, this whole thing is really confusing me, to be honest. I don't know why I'm here. I don't know why you are all here. I don't know why you all are suddenly younger, even though you technically should be older. Where am I? Mom, please pick me up. I'm scared. Oh, um, yeah. All right, now that Mr. Ryuki is What the away, fuck? Let's get back to it, shall we? Oh, it's a square-headed dude. He looks so, so bizarre. Here we go. Next question. This cannot be a legitimate person. This gotta be a mascot. Which tower symbol shaped like interlocking black and white commas represents the origin of all things? Oh my god, are we really gonna do this? Okay. What the? A blackout? What are you standing around for? Get the lights! Yeah, I'm on it! Oh. Frey the free? Frey to free? So this happened years ago, I think. Oh yeah, it happened six years ago, I think. Dang it, it's always six years, isn't it? With this, like, uh, entire world. Six years is the the taboo number. Okay, well this is an interesting way to like start the story. Like any other. Alright, so uh, let's get started. Now we're really starting with the, the case here, so now it's going to be the the upper the halves of these bodies. Alright. Did you find anything about the body? Aren't you cold? Okay, uh, let me like go. Uh, just look at him. A cop from this jurisdiction. Let me see. Auditorium. Empty seats. Field. It's snowing, but it hasn't piled up yet. Yeah. By the way, Mizuki, there is something that has been bothering me. What's this? This is the field before law enforcement arrived. Notice anything peculiar? No, nothing in particular. The turf runs a considerable distance and is wet from the snow. If someone were to step on it, they would leave a trace. However, there aren't any footprints. Indeed. Then how did the body... Hmm. Interesting. So, I guess no one left. This is weird, though. It's like, how old is this body? Because certainly there should be a blood trail. Like, a, a considerable blood trail. Plus, like, there's no way this, like, body was, like, cut in clean half, right? A little bit of an angle or a little bit of, like, tear and such? I don't know. I'm probably thinking about this too much. Unknown. Maybe that isn't really a real body. Perhaps they descended from the sky. Or rose up from the ground. Or... Or... They teleported here. Okay, that was a really disappointing answer, Aipa. Shut up! Teleported? I was joking. Do not take it seriously. Alright, whatever you say, Aiba. Whatever you say. I'd really get my Mizuki voice, like, you know, from the depths of my mouth, cause I'm I'm worried that I might have like improved a little too much that my Mizuki voice is a little bit hard to distinguish. There isn't any trace of any disturbance in the field, so how did the body get here? Not entirely sure. We're gonna find out though. Nothing else, right? Actually, wasn't there a way I can like uh, tell where what Objects I've like uh, looked at. I think there is, but I can't. I don't know which one it is. What's the button to help me do that? Select investigate. Hmm. I don't know what button it is. I'll have to like figure that out later. Hello there, police officer. Did you find anything? Oh no. I just started investigating. Really. All right. Aren't you cold? Nah. The lining has eating wires in it, so I'm warm. Oh, thank you for the concern, though. No problem. About the body. Weird though, isn't it? He got killed six years ago. But the body shows up now? Interesting. Guess someone like uh put it in a cold storage and wait for a while. Oh god, oh oh god. Is this is this who I think it is? Guys, I hope this is who I think it is. Please let this be who I think it is, please. Please. Do the joke. Come on. Ask his name. Do you recognize the body? How's the investigation? Ask his name. I have a bad feeling about <laughs> this, but 
you really want to know my name? <laughs> yep, I kind of do. I feel like I like, uh, recognized you from somewhere before, like uh, six years ago or something. But I was really young and I had this like a uh, really annoying ass pervert as a detective. What was your name again? Oh God, I already want to leave. I don't care about the paycheck that I get from this game's release. I just want to be gone. Yeah. <laughs> oh God, please. Then I'll tell you, but please don't forget it, okay? I won't. Got it. <laughs> oh, fuck you, God. My name is Kagami. Hmm. Kagami, huh? Sounds awfully familiar. Okay, I'll remember that. <laughs> That's first name. Oh, Come on. Mm -hmm. Here it comes. <laughs> I knew this would happen. Yeah, what was your name again? Asterisk. <laughs> I'm still glad that the developers, like, brought him back. I'm so glad. I, you know what? I'm. Not, I wouldn't be even mad if like he told me was no longer in this game because Kagami, Kagami is all I need. He's the savior that I need in my life. Ah, oh, yes. Bless you, Kagami. Bless you. What was your name again? I'll say it one more time. My name is Kagami. All right, I got it this time. Don't worry. I definitely won't forget it this time. Um. Uh, uh, what was your name again? I told you it's Kagami. <laughs> oh my god, we're still doing it! I know Steve already! <laughs> do I do it in her voice or not? In Mizuki's voice, I mean. You know, I'm not gonna do it. Actually, forget it. Fuck it. I'm gonna do it in her voice. I know this name already. I don't think you need to ask again. But I'm gonna ask again, anyways! I think you know his name already. I probably don't need to ask. I'm gonna ask, anyways. His name is. Um, what was it again? Come on. Hey, what's your name again? Give me a break. Alright, we're done. We're done. Oh my god. Alright. Mm. Now that I've experienced the full jokeness of AI summoning files that I've been longing for for two whole years, finally, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. Do you recognize this bike, Kagami? Oh, of course, ma'am. It's Jin Furaway. Jin Furaway. Hmm. I don't think there's anyone in our generation who wouldn't recognize him. He was famous until he passed away. Well, even after he died. And six years ago, I was part of that investigation, too. Yeah, six years. Hmm. Godly interesting. Were you at the studio by any chance? You don't remember? We did talk for a bit. Well, to be honest, I don't really remember your name. What was it again? Uh... Yeah, I know. I'm such a knucklehead. Um, sorry. Don't remember. <laughs> wow, even in the serious dialogue, they're still making the joke. You don't leave much of an impression. In a good way. In a good way? By the way, what's with the ma'am? Abyss is a high-level organization in the police department. You do technically outrank me, ma'am. And plus, you can also, like, uh, you know, pass my skull open with a, like, metal pipe of yours. Yeah, I know. It looks cool, right? Wanna be my test subject? I kinda wanna, like, pass someone's skull a little bit, but I haven't really gotten the chance to do it yet. No thanks, ma'am. No thanks. Huh. Really? But you don't need to worry about the formalities with me. What? For real? I can be casual with you. Do you want to get your ass kicked? <laughs> sorry. Uh, sorry, ma'am. Good. No, you place worm. Okay, how's the investigation going? I've finished gathering DNA samples. It's being sent to forensics now. I'm sure the results will be out shortly. All right. The inspector is checking something. All right. All right. It's nice to see you again, Gagami. Oh, my God. I'm so happy. Who's this detective over here? Alright, let me talk to the boss real quick. Why are you here? About Date, will you let me investigate this case? Why are you here, boss? You do know I'm the commander of Abyss, right? Oh yeah, you still are, huh? Right, but that's why I'm asking. Isn't it a bit weird for you to be at a crime scene in person? This case is special. I saw it too, six years ago. The other half of the corpse. Okay, so... No, it's... They said that this wasn't really a sequel to the last game, I think. I don't know, I'm gonna have to ask about where Dante is, because that'll give me an idea of what the kind of, like, game this is. It's Studio Divita. And the HB case is still open, even after all this time. The reputation of the whole department hangs on this case. By HB case. She is referring to the half-body serial killings. Ah, of course! It's gotta be some stupid name, of course! The new Cyclops killer, nah, that was old history. The half-body serial killings, that's the new trend now. Oh my god, that is a genius name right there. <laughs> half, 
half body serial killings. Ooh, pardon me for not being scared. So named because the victim's bodies were cut in two. The culprit is known as Terror. Okay. Their identity is unknown. Six years have passed since Terror first made themselves known, but we have yet to find any promising leads. I already know that. You don't have to explain it. Well, yeah, but the, the audience doesn't know, so I have to explain to you the very thing that you already know to you so that the audience knows since obviously, you know, it's reasons. Okay, I must stop breaking the fourth wall. Getting really annoying. Iba's trivia. During investigations, Iba and Tama talk. Trivia and added information will be displayed on the top of the screen. Oh shoot. Why? Oh, uh, I didn't it? mean to hit that. Um, okay, about Date. Dang it! Uh, I kind of wish that they didn't like do this with like uh when we like have this thing appear and like the trivia appears as well and I have to like hit the direction pad pads. This is just a bonus feature, so you don't need to read it to progress in the game. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so Date. He's still in his Saito body? This has to be at- no, wait, wait. I have to listen to this. What- what point after AI Somnia Files? What ending is this game a sequel to? Well, I was just wondering if he contacted you or anything. I would have let you know right away if he did. Good! Cause fuck him! Date was caught in that explosion six years ago. And has been missing ever since. What? Date's body was never recovered from the scene. Don't worry. I am positive it would take more than that to kill Kaname Date. I like a portal, Max. That's how you really kill him. I am certain he's at the Hot Springs District in Atami or someplace, spending his time in leisure. <laughs> yeah, with a big tit like a reception lady. If he is, I'd go down there and drown him in that boiling water myself. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, so Date was like killed in an explosion? Of course, of course, this series in six years. It's always six years, of course. It's gonna be plot relevant or something. All right, so look, boss, she's my direct superior now. Okay, so we're gonna be playing as Mizuki and that other boy at some point. Will you let me investigate this case? Of course not. Dang it! What? Why not? Because you're only 18, Mizuki. Oh wow, she's 18? She does not look 18 to be honest. You're still a student at Sakiba High. But I barely even go now. Yeah, fuck high school. This really sucks. I graduate in a month. I hardly have any classes left. The point is, you're still a student. Then why did you let me join Abyss? Because I thought you had potential as a singer. I assume your gargantuan strength and combat ability were a factor as well. Yeah, pretty much. But you're basically still an intern. You've only been training for about a month. It's way too early to put you in a field. All right, I want to be on the case no matter what. Uh, yeah, I thought you'd say that. Please, boss. I hope this doesn't like further the plot. I have to. This case is. Can you not give me the puppy dog eyes? God oh, damn it! She saw right through it. You know I'm weak to the puppy dog eyes. Ah, <sighs> oh, damn it! <sighs> Fine, but promise me one thing. Swear to me that you won't do anything dangerous or illegal, no matter what. <laughs> no promises, uh, boss. No promises. Yeah, I swear. I swear. I'm gonna like uh, go over to a bank and like just like blow it up. And one more thing, I am your superior. You should address me with a little more respect. Ten four, boss man. I read you loud and clear. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Mizuki. Oh god. She could be the playful type. You know, you know what? I'm I would actually prefer like it's not that I didn't like uh Dante's preferred like uh you know attitude. I actually love his like preferred side. But Mizuki being this like chaotic force of nature, that is even more fun to you know do a let's play about. Oh, I'm gonna love Mizuki in this game so much. Do you? <laughs> This is gonna be so fun. I know it. All right, who are you, dude? You're me, Leeds. Introduce myself. You're. What? You really don't know. Oh my god! I didn't know who you look like because you were so far away. Why do you have lipstick on, dude? What's with your hair? The fuck? You really need to go see a barber, dude. I'm Detective Ushidera, Special Investigations Office, MPD. Okay. Now introduce myself. I don't even have to ask about you. All right, then fuck you too. Yamazuki Okiura, 18 years old, 
a high schooler attending Sakiba High. The all-girls school, right? Ah, but Okira is your former name. You've been adopted by Date, if I remember correctly. You were at the studio when the other half of the corpse was found. So I take it you were there too? Oh wait, I just realized. Wasn't wasn't like Iris there? So uh, I don't know what sequel this could be about. I actually don't know. Yeah. Back then I was on the investigation team. Though you were 12 at the time, so I can't blame you for not remembering me. I heard you became a special agent at Abyss. That boss lady got her claws at you, huh? This little girl gets hired as an investigator. Huh. <sighs> Guess they'll take anyone they can get. Time sure have changed. Hey, Bazooki, do you know what that guy over there is like, uh, yelling at you about? I can't really, like, hear it from all the way over here. Yeah, I can't really hear him either, uh, boss. Abyss is a particularly special organization. Mizuki was hired via what might be referred to as extra legal measures. All right, whatever that means. Uh, okay, uh, elite? Haven't found anything yet. Though there is something I didn't find that's particularly interesting. The other half of the body? The footprints. Oh, the footprints, of course. Bingo. There isn't a single footprint on the field that doesn't belong to someone here. Maybe they, like, brought in by a hel helicopter or something. So just how did the culprit do it? Hmm. Don't know. Uh, know anything? I should be asking you. You're the one who discovered the body, right? You were also at the studio six years ago when the other half was found. Quite a coincidence, don't you think? What are you trying to say? Well, is he gonna do the same thing? It's like, oh, it, it might be you who's like the Cyclops killer, Mizuki. Why did you come here? I got a Nile message. It said, HB Stadium. That could only be referring to the case six years ago, right? The half body serial killings. I need to know more about that case changed my life forever so that's why i came how did it change your life forever exactly was it date was date involved with something that's the only thing i can think of i have a trivia regarding mizuki's smartphone if it gets reception i can connect to any network i can make calls and send and receive messages on Nile. Mizuki says, I don't want you to know about my private life. If I leave my eyes closed, you won't be able to see it, right, Aiba? Which is why she still carries her smartphone around. Huh, interesting. So, uh, any leads? There isn't a trace of any disturbance on the field, so how did the body get here? Don't know. Don't know, don't know. He's a detective called Ushidera. All right, about the Nile messages. Who sent the message? I don't know. It was sent from an account that signed up with a fake name. Someone must have wanted me to discover the body. Someone? Maybe the culprit. Why would the culprit do that to you? I don't know. There is one more thing we don't know. The masked woman who shot at us earlier. Who could this person of interest be? Yeah, she gave us, like, uh, the vibe that she belongs to the Blue Archive. And why did she try to kill you? Yeah, I I'm betting that she's from that, like, uh, high school that Mizuki goes to. I wouldn't put it past them. Alright, uh, let me see this, like, uh, body here. Evidence marker, and evidence marker. Of course. Alright, let's see this, of course, body. X-ray? Would you like to check the corpse with X-ray mode? Yeah. It's unlikely, but maybe the right half of the body is buried in the ground. You could simply flip the body over. No way. I don't want to see that cut. Especially not down there. Hmm. In that case, how's this? Thanks. I see now. That body is definitely just the left half. Yeah, but it's oddly, like, in a weird position where it's like, uh, arms are, like... It feels kind of like perfect a little bit. It must have been frozen. It must have been of something. I will get the more shocking facts out of the way first. The estimated time of death is approximately nine hours ago. 
Nine hours? What? Nine hours ago? It is currently nine o'clock. So that would mean he was killed around 12. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Six years ago, I... Hold that thought. There's more. As you can see, the body was cut in two. Yeah? There are no other external wounds on the body. It appears that he was sliced in half while he was still alive. Yeah? That's just obviously how he died, because he was sliced in half. As for what was used to cut him, I am sorry, but that cannot be determined. What do you mean? What? It's probably like a, a samurai or something who did that, because only samurai can make it cut that clean. Judging by the cross section, it is clear that it was not a blade. It could not be a laser or pressurized water either. Then what was it? As I said, I do not know. The body was cut at the molecular level. Hmm, molecular. So it must be something like advanced machine or something. Most likely. There is hardly any blood left in the body. It could be speculated that the corpse was left with the cut section facing the ground. However, there are no traces of any blood flow on the ground. Yeah, there would be a lot of them. Therefore, it is clear that he was murdered at some other location. But then, like, his, like, uh, you know, body looks like he's, like, in a perfect, like, position to, like... It must have been, like, frozen. It must have been frozen, somehow. His body was cut at a molecular level about nine hours ago. All right. Let's see further. I can see the skeleton in the body's left half. That's it? Nothing else? Uh, who do I talk to then? Did I miss something? Not sure what I'm missing here. That's everything that I need to- Oh yeah, there's something here, I think. Corpse's face. That's definitely Jin Furoe. Yeah. The same face we saw six years ago at Studio Divider. Okay. Oh, but in this one, he has, like- other arm is missing. Free to free. And it's like a QR code. Jin was a young industrialist. He was quite famous and often made media appearances. This cannot possibly be a stranger who happens to look like him. Six years ago, Jin Furaway's body was discovered in Studio Divider. And now. His left half was found here at the stadium. And yet his time of death is 12 o'clock today. Which means that half his body was alive very recently. How can a half of a body be alive, though? I'm pretty sure if you lose a half of your body, you're just dead. What the hell is going on? I have no clue. Some like... Urdekuchi. We're gonna call him that. Urdekuchi. Yeah, that's probably his doing. His doing is causing this entire confusion. My brain is doing cartwheels trying to figure this out. Hello there, Iba. Iba? Hold on, did Iba just appear? Yeah. Wait, let me put my earphones in. Can you hear me, boss? Yeah, loud and clear. Alright, Iba, what do you have? What if Jin had a twin brother? What if the body was frozen? What if he was still alive with just the left half? What if the right and left half belong to different people. Okay, what if the body was frozen? That's there my first no thought. There are signs of him ever having been frozen. That half body was definitely alive until just recently. Okay, but how is a how is a half still alive though? What if he was still alive with just the left half? What? I mean, the heart is in the left half of the body. I get it. You think they might have sewn the body back together? No, there are no traces of that. Again, but. but what about the brain, then? Wouldn't the brain, like, you know, if the brain was cut in half, then you'd be dead. And, were you two being serious? You do realize the cerebrum, brainstem, and spinal cord were completely severed in two? Yeah? That means he's dead. What if the right half and left half belong to different people? I, of course, did consider it a possibility, but both faces match perfectly. The rest depends on the DNA results. And what if Jin had a twin brother? I looked into Jin Furoi's family background. Not only did he not have a twin, but there is no record of him ever having siblings. Alright, we don't have much leads. 
We don't know what I the fuck's going no on. What's going on? Me neither, Mizuki. I'm just as confused as you are. But this case is definitely connected to the incident six years ago. Which means the half body case isn't over yet. Dude, this is gonna be a weird name to like uh, go through this entire game as the new cycle of serial killings was actually a cool like name idea, but now half body? I don't know. I don't know how to feel about that name. It's so weird. Like this game. Six years ago, I was 12. I obviously wasn't in the abyss then. I wasn't part of the investigation at all. I didn't know much about this case. I did see some of the investigation documents during my training, but the information there wasn't much better than the information on the internet, so I couldn't get the full picture. Hey, Aiba, how much do you know about the HB serial killings? As you know, my knowledge of the case is about the same as yours. Due to the explosion six years ago, I lost all of my memories from a few days before that point. What explosion, though? And due to poor connection, I was unable to send or retrieve any backups. What about you, boss? Same for me. Ryuki was the one on the case at the time. Yeah, yeah, Ryuki. Who? The boy, right? I don't know anything other than what he reported. What about the stuff he didn't report? I'm not a psychic. How would I know something that he didn't tell me? Aiba, where is Ryuki now? I've determined the location from Toma's GPS. Currently, Ryuki seems to be in Golden Yokocho. Uh, is that the place where, what was that, that cafe called? The place that like, uh, that had those fish ladies? I forgot that was called. All right, map and movement. Once you can move to a different area, map will be displayed on the bottom of the screen. Use map to open the map and choose a destination. All righty. Should be everything here. All right, I all right, don't know like what exactly is going on in this story, as usual. As usual. I'm actually a little bit more confused than like I was in the first episode of the, the last game, which is kind of insane a little bit. Okay, Golden Yokocho. Oh, okay, here. It's the bar where, like, uh, Mama was at, right? Was it called- What's her name, Mama? I forgot her name. Was it Papa? I don't know. Okay, Iris is still alive in this, like, section. So... This not a sequel, then? Oh, we're playing as, like, uh, this dude. What was his name? Ryuku. Ryuki. Ryuki. Yep, the guy's name. Fuck. So now we're gonna, like, uh, investigate in his perspective as well. Oh my god. Is this Asu Kagami? Hey there, Iris. Hey there, Mizuki. Okay, uh, there's a lot of people to talk to. Fuck. Okay, well, let's get through this section here and try to, like, figure out what the happened to the other half. Oh, hey, it's this music again. I always like this music. It's so soothing. It's a show sign called Faith to Face. I get- I get the pun. I get the pun. Show lights. Lights, camera, action. Okay, well, that should be everything here. Alright, so who should I talk to, really? This is the same detective from the other place, as well. Okay, well, let me talk to this, like, uh, police officer, then. Any new intel? How are you? About the body. How are you? It's all right now. What the? I am here. Half might. All right, uh... That is not at all what I chose for that moment. Half for all, we are full-time heroes. You okay, Mr. Ryuki? <coughs> Sorry, I, I just got through smoking some weed before I came here, so I'm acting a little bit cuckoo in the cook buffs. I feel like you aren't exactly sound of mind right now. Yeah, you're not. What the fuck? Okay, so, jeez, this Tama trivia as usual. Like, I kind of want to like look at it, but maybe later. I don't want to really want to look at it now. I really don't. I I'll read it in the next next episode. Any new intel about the body? Uh, about the body? Is it true that body appeared out of nowhere? It's hard to believe. Well, not out of nowhere. It definitely was like uh, brought here during the light, like the blackout, right? Any new intel? Please don't rush me. I'm doing the best I can. Looks like he's just standing there to me. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Hey, Tama. I wonder what, like, uh, was the thought process of, like, making her, like, you know, all that stuff. Oh my god, is this actually who I think it is? Oh. My god, we're doing this again! <laughs> Ask his name. Uh, oh, 
I'm sorry. It's just that I had a bad experience. Yeah, I'm getting some major PTSD right now from you just asking that question of me. I try not to tell people my name. Then I'll tell you instead. His name is Kagami. Oh, wow, thanks. You ruined the joke, Tama. Yeah, well... Actually, I don't know what voice I, I should give to her. Like, I guess, I guess like, the Ada Ada voice. Yeah. Ada Ada voice, yes. You're very welcome, Yuki. Kagami, huh? Huh? How did you know? Uh, my eyeball told me. Why? Why does this keep happening? Is my name cursed or something? Oh my god, I feel bad for Kagami. I just feel so bad for him. Just having all these characters just, like, ask his name over and over again. I ask his name again. Come on. <laughs> oh, all I can do is laugh now. Ah, he's going crazy too. Ask his name again. I told you it's Kagami. Well, technically, you didn't really tell me, but thanks. Ask his name. I already know his name. I don't need to ask it again. Come on, ask his name. I'm pretty sure I know his name. I don't really need to ask again. Ask his name. His name is uh. What was it again? What was your name again? Um, I'm sorry. What was your name? Fucking god, this fucking bunny gag. Oh, come on. I'm sure you actually remember. Mimiga, was it? <laughs> wow. Oh, my mistake. It's Mimigawa, isn't it? It's neither. No need to shout, Kagami. Oh, I knew it. <laughs> wow, he actually got this name right. That one... That one moment, and he didn't even. <laughs> okay, this game's off to a good start already with his jokes. So far, we've only done Kagami, but don't worry, we'll we'll get into more variety later. But man, these Kagami jokes have never gotten old, and I love it. Do you know the victim? Jin Furoe? Yes, of course I know about him. I actually follow him on Two Witter. Yeah, Two Witter. He cuts through all the BS of the modern world. He's insightful. Inspiring in a way. Hmm. Okay. Guess he like pissed off a lot of people on Twitter. Then that's how he died. And Inspector is checking something. How is the investigation of the body going? Well, not that well. You still haven't taken DNA samples? Wait. That actually just like uh, advance the plot. Oh shit. Easier said than done. Most of the blood was drained from the body, so we have no choice but to take samples from the organs. Wait, hey, this is no place for a kid. What do you mean? Don't be able to use this metal pipe on you! I actually like how she has like her metal pipe right behind her back. So cute. I mean, you're right next to the body. So? Hey, I feel like the worst, man. I saw someone like a uh, head explode in one of these like routes. Don't worry, I've seen this kind of stuff before. I'm an expert. Technically. Well, I will be like six years later, but you know, you get to you get to drift. So? Well, you you could be traumatized for life seeing something like this. I'm fine. I've seen worse. Yeah, a lot worse. A lot. I anyway, you're in the way. <laughs> fine. Nah. Well, there you have it. So, in other words, you don't have anything. Yeah, thanks a lot. Alright, let's talk with this like weird square dude here. Uh, his name, about the quiz show, where am I, uh, his name. I think he introduced himself to me before the show started. His name was Andy's Kamechi, I think. That's his stage name, of course. His real name is Yonaharu Enda. He's a comedian. I'd never heard of him before. He must not be very good. Oh, and I suppose you can do better, asshole. Oh, jeez. Didn't expect you to curse, Tama. What do you know about comedians? Listen, comedians are all doing their best so they can bring people joy. And here you are just... Alright, calm down, calm down. All I said was like, yo, he might not be a good comedian. Jeez. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. I've known Tama for more than half a year now, but I still have a hard time understanding what sets her off. I had no idea that was a sensitive subject. What the fuck? Okay, I... That was not what I was expecting of her. Okay, where am I, dude? Are you still out of it, Mr. Ryuki? I'm still out of it because of your weird square body. The fuck is this? This is Studio Divita in Minato Roppongi. It's a rental studio, mostly used for live streaming, filming, that kind of thing. Okay. Uh, look at him real quick. 
It's the man who was hosting that quiz show earlier, Andes Komeji. Okay, about the quiz show. Did you really not understand what you were getting into when you agreed to this? Not really, because uh, it was like at the beginning of the game, and I was like, what the fuck is going on? Is this really AI 70 and Files? That's what I was thinking. We arrived here right as the stream was about to begin. They made us sit in the contestant seat right away without telling us anything. Well, the title of our show is right there. Faith to Face, our special six-hour live stream marathon, brought to you by Amabi TV. We cut the stream, of course, but the camera should have been running when that body appeared. I'm sure all of Japan, or even the world, tuning in on the internet is in shock right now. Alright, thanks for the assistance, Komeji. Oh, where's the staff of the show? They're being questioned by the police in the waiting room. Mr. Ryuki, aren't you with the police too? Well, yes. Hmm, okay. Interesting, interesting indeed. A lot of people to talk to as usual. Okay, well, let me talk with like, uh, Mizuki and Iris real quick. Uh, Iris? Uh, actually, no. Yeah, I can't want to talk with Iris real quick. What is she, what's her thought? She's probably freaked out. Her name, are you okay? Do you know the victim? Okay, her name. I know her name, without asking. Iris Sagan. I was introduced before the show started, and... Wait, is, if Iris is here, does that mean I'm gonna be able to see he told me? Please! Oh, that's right. D Dante is gonna be disappeared, so it's no Dante he told me moments. Fuck! A soul for a soul, I suppose. Or whatever Thanos' quote was. She was involved in the new Cyclops serial killings that happened last November. You read the reports. Okay, she was involved. Yeah, so I know enough about what happened. Mr. Date was also on that case. Okay. Hope they explain it to us a little bit. A little bit, please, because I know what happened in the Cyclops serial killings in the last game as a, as a whole, but I kind of wish they would like, explain like what particular like uh, route we're in as a sequel, because I haven't figured that out yet. You okay? No, she isn't. Okay to you? Oh, yeah, it's a stupid question to ask. I already talked to the other detective. I want to go home already. All right, do you know the victim? What? Oh, shoot, I can't skip that. Whoopsies. That body. Teleportation. What? That body teleported here from a parallel world. Oh, great, this stuff again. Teleported here from a parallel world. Yeah, this stuff again, of course. Of course, it's a parallel world. Is it going to be the same thing in this game, too? But only half of his body was able to make it through. That's why he was split in half. Okay, Iris, you're saying some weird stuff as usual. Don't no, don't worry. You're you're the same as usual. Jeez. For fuck's sakes, man. God. She's trembling. Poor Iris. She can never catch a break, can she? She gets killed several times in like you know the last game, and she's having a traumatic like breakdown here. These developers really hate Iris, don't they? Okay, her name. I don't know her name. Yuki Date, twelve years old. Her former name is Okiura, but she was adopted by my superior officer, Kaname Date. Yeah, no. That's why I've met her a few times before. I'm wondering if it's the case, like, we're not actually going to see Date in this, like, Saito body. It's probably in this, like, uh, you know, number 89 body. I think. I don't fucking know. Like the time you carried Date home on your back after he had one too many rounds. Hmm, maybe. Uh, what are you doing? What? Isn't it obvious? Iris is totally freaking out, so I'm helping her calm down. When are you letting me leave, anyway? That other detective said you still had questions you needed to ask, so... Hmm, okay. Uh, do you know the victim? Of course. Jin Furaway, right? I've seen him online a bunch of times. Hmm, okay. Her name is Mizuki Date. She's a sixth grader with a metal pipe and who's really jacked for some random reason. And is going to be really jacked, like, you know, six years later. That's Mizuki Date. Okay, where's Mr. Date? I don't know. Not his guardian, you know. He got all giddy about taking a long vacation. He's probably at a cabaret club in Magura right now. Pouring some ponzo on that rake of chick's fat thighs. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, of course. That's Date, all right. S Date. All right, so hey, Momo. Been a while since I've seen you. Momo Kumakura. Okay, his name. 
His name is Moma Kumakura. I'm surprised to see him still in this game. I I, I didn't expect to see him ever, ever again after you know, the first game. Guess he's gonna have some important going on in this plot. Or maybe he was just that funny of a character that people wanted to back. Maybe. He's a leader of the Kumakura gang, which is under the Uchisaki family. I know. The Kumakuras are known for being peculiar, even among Yakuza. But why is their leader at a live streamed quiz show? Oh, if only you knew. If only you knew uh, Momo's true nature. Do you know the victim? Anyway, it's real fucked up. Wait, I, I just asked you a question. Even people in my world wouldn't kill someone so gruesomely. That bastard. Scaring Tessa like this. Whoever did this better make sure the cops get to him before I do. Okay, it's pretty obvious that I was supposed to, like, uh, you know, do this in a specific order. Whoopsies, who is the man sitting next to you? Oh, you mean Chimpe? Chimpe? Chimpe Wagai. That's his name. He was one of our members until just recently. Was? Yeah, he went clean. Left the life completely. And where is he now? Who knows? He was just there with you a while ago, wasn't he? The moment he saw the corpse, he flew out of the room, white as a sheet. He's probably puking into a toilet somewhere. Mm, okay. Nice to see you too, Momo. Nice to see you too. That was a weird, like, moment. Where, like, I, I asked him a question, and he just, like, acted as if, like, he was, like, could continue with the conversation or something. Just weird. Alright, hello there, detective. Maybe he's from HQ? You're... Uh, we work in the same building, and you don't know my name. Can't blame you though. You're new. Metro PD, major crimes. Name's Ushidera. Alright, I introduced myself. Huh. I already know all about you. No need to say it. Kurita Ryuki, 23 years old. Due to your excellent marks, you skipped a few grades at an elite private university and graduated at 21. Wait a minute, he's like 23? I thought it was like a, in his teens. He looked like he was in his teens. Afterward, you went through training at Police Academy for 15 months and were accepted into Abyss last summer. It's incredibly rare for anyone to get into Abyss without having stepped foot on a crime scene. Don't tell me you slept your way in with Boz. Uh, of course I didn't. Wow, he's 23? He just doesn't look that way. He looks way younger. I took the formal exam and Boss acknowledged my abilities. You mean your endurance? You're a young guy. Oh my god, this dude. Yeah, boss definitely seems more into the marathons than the sprints. Alright, dude. Alright, whatever you say. What are you talking about? There's a body right in front of us, but you're making sexual innuendos. Good job. Well, Ryuki, when a man and a woman love each other very much... <laughs> oh my god, her blushing... Her blushing face. That's actually kind of cute. You don't have to explain it. I get it. Alright, uh, any leads? <sighs> Unfortunately, nothing yet. HQ still hasn't gotten any reports about the half-body being found. Hell, maybe it's never going to be found. What if that body crossed over time and space to get here? It's possible, right? I wonder if that's gonna be like a major plot reveal later. No? I'm, I'm throwing all the darts at the board. Where's the mind fucked, writers? I'm ready for it. Alright, boss, let's talk with you now. I'm talking to a lot of people here, holy crap. Boss, I report directly to her. Alright, so, why are we here? Hey, what's going on with you? Memory problems? Brain disorder or something? You look like you're losing it a little. No, it's nothing. Boss was invited here by Ma, a host from Kabuki Show. Oh, that's her name, Ma. Ma told her, let's go on this online show together. It looks so fun. But immediately after she showed up, she was sent a Nile message that read, Sorry, something came up. So in other words, he flaked on her. Boss tried to go home, but the show's staff stopped her and begged her to find a replacement. So she called up her obedient underling, huh? How convenient. Yeah, you remember now? Remember? You never told me anything about this Ma guy. Ah, so Tama told you. After I asked her not to. Ah, okay. Who's in charge of this case? Hmm. Well, there's no one else available, so would you mind taking care of it? What? Me? I know this case could get dangerous. 
It might be too hot to assign to a rookie. But then again, you have a reliable partner with you. Mm-hmm. <coughs> I'll give you hands-on assistance for this investigation. If you know what I mean. Tama, please, no. Let's just no. God. This is my assistant. I kind of wish I had Ayapa right now. She's a lot better than Tama. I heard that, Fiyuki. Don't maybe use his explosion function to blow your head off. Okay, so about the body. It's Jin Furuwe. No doubt about it. He was like an advisor who represented the young talent. I saw him a lot on the news online. This is so strange. Why just his right half? I don't know. This is pretty peculiar. All right, now we can finally get to like investigating this body here. Evidence marker. Yeah, whatever. Okay, so what's this sign here? Actually, let me see the body first. Actually, yeah, body first. Let's, let's do that first. The estimated time of death was about 40 hours ago. Really now? But in Mizuki's like, uh, you know, perspective, like the body was like, uh, it, it died like nine hours ago, but this one died 40 years ago. This is a little bit weird. Today is February 10th. Current time, 2200 which means he died around 6 o'clock February 9th. Yesterday morning. There's hardly any blood left in his body. His body must have been left with his legs slightly raised and the cut side facing the ground. Blood naturally flowed out as a result. Hmm. Leaving the cut surprisingly clean and visible. The cut appears to have been made by something far thinner than paper. Thinner than paper? For example, something with zero thickness, like a 2D surface. There's no such... What's more is that it doesn't seem like the connections between molecules were severed. The structure of the molecules themselves have been cut. Yeah, I don't get this at all. Like, what could have possibly done this? When the world happened yesterday at 6? Corsa's face. Okay, uh, let's have a look. Uh, the identity of the deceased has been confirmed through facial recognition. Jen Furroway, 29 years old, the CEO of Music Food Co. Ltd. He's also an executive at several IT firms, consultation companies, investment firms, and advertising agencies. His columns and essays are featured in various magazines and online media. He's quite a successful author. Okay. By the way, Ryuki, there's something about the corpse's head that's been bothering me. It's hard to see from here, so here's the image I took earlier. What's this? Oh, something in his, like, head? Like, a hole? It's an enlarged picture of Jim's temporal region, near the back of his head. It's hard to see because of the hair in the way, but there are signs of traumatic subcutaneous hematoma. Meaning... In other words, there's bruising. I think he got hit with a blunt object. Someone hit him from behind? Why even do that if you're just gonna cut him in half? Probably. But I don't think this is a fatal wound. There's no damage to the skull or brain itself. And as you can clearly see, his cause of death was being split in half. There are no other visible wounds besides the head trauma. He must have been cut in two while he was alive. Hmm, interesting. There's trace of blunt force trauma on the back of Jin's head. It seems unrelated to the death, but... Hmm. Wait. What is it? This might not be related to the case, but I just thought of something. Ryuki, would you mind moving closer to the body? Okay. Hmm. He's missing one of his back teeth. Yes, the first molar of his upper jaw was completely removed from its root. Judging by the impression left in the gums, it looks like it was removed just recently. Man, it seems like this like, killer took extra steps for some reason. Don't know why. Why did that first molar fall out from the upper jaw? Not entirely sure. Alright, let's, let's see his sign. Been bugging me. To free? Fray can mean battle, tatter, ravel, or strain. Free is self explanatory. To set free or release. So the phrase could mean something like 
fight to set free. Hmm. What's with that QR code? The thing is, there seems to be an error in the Abyss communication system. We're having issues getting online. What? Come on. <laughs> what is that, like, face? He's like, yeah. He's, like, so angry for some reason. What? You got a problem with that? No, not at all. Alright. Ryuki, I've got a connection. I was asked. QR code link. It leads to a view cube page. View cube? You mean? Yes, the video streaming site. Whose account does the channel belong to? No idea. It was registered using an alias. Okay. Open it. What? I'm sorry. Can you please open it? That's better. <laughs> what in the world, Tama? So bizarre. What? We're only one episode into this game. What the fuck? <laughs> All right, so yeah, this game is weird. What's wrong, Ryuki? I have no fucking clue. What? What is going on? See? Is this Chinese or something? Like. Okay, guys, I have to, like, really, like, uh, check in on this. Just, I need to ask you honestly. Please don't tell me my cream soda, which I just drank before doing this recording session, was, like, spiked with some kind of, like, weird substance. Because that is the only explanation I can possibly have for all the weird stuff I have seen so far. What the fuck's going on in this game? Um, are you okay? God... This game is... I'm fine. Yeah, I'm fine. I, I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. Totally fine. I'm totally fine. I'm totally fine. Really? You don't sound all that fine to me. No, I'm totally fine. Don't worry about me. All right. This... Does the thing just explode? Why just exploded? And... Okay, the body just exploded. Team Zero Escape presents. Since you've already been confused by what's been going on so far. Oh my god. I need to process all this. I, I can't. 
can't believe I'm like looking at all this. Probably shouldn't be watching all of this because it might be spoilers or something. You know what? I feel like I'm about to skip this. Actually, no, I can't. It's fuck. I haven't really been paying attention as much. I'm just. My mind is still on that fucking. Whatever I just saw is just. AI, hey, the Somnium Files. What the fuck initiative? That's the name of this game. That's the real name of this game. We got it. We, we, we sealed the deal. Thanks for the $60, guys. Here's your, like, daily doses of methamphetamines. Thank you for your business. Oh, it's Brahmin. Well, finally back into the down-to-earth territory now, hopefully. God, what a wild ride that was. You are familiar with it? Yeah, I've been here a bunch of times. Ryuki is supposed to be here? I'm certain of it. Okay, let's go in. Oh wow, you look wasted. Okay, 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 okay. You know what guys, you know what, you know what, you know what. I think that's the perfect time to end this episode off. This is a... Fuck, I need a- I need a moment to just sit down and just process what I just saw, cause what the fuck? This game has- is off to a really weird start compared to the last game. What the fuck is going on? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I- I just don't know. So, we've just got started with this, like, a uh, investigation about the half-body serial killings now, which is a bit of a- I don't know what to think about it, to be honest. I'm, I'm trying to, like, process everything that's happened in this episode so I can, like, give my full thoughts. Because, honestly, I don't have any thoughts. This is just... I, I can't say anything objective because nothing in this game is making any objective logical sense. It's so wild. But, hey, it can't be AI Somnium Files without some wacky shit happening in it. And I'm all on board with whatever's happening in this game. Hopefully, we get to the point where things will start making sense because my brain will crack if any more weird stuff happens, to be honest. So, yeah, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this episode of AI The Somnium Files Nirvana Initiative. Okay, so here's my plans for what I'm going to be doing with these, like, kind of videos from now on. So, obviously, I have like a you know Tales of Arise and Scarlet Nexus games to play so I'm going to like focus on this game for the time being while I'll also switch in like one like a uh, you know Scarlet Nexus video with like Tales of Arise so after this like a uh, video it's going to be the Scarlet Nexus video that I just finished editing and after that video is posted I'll like go back to this game and like do another recording session then in the next like video it'll be Tales of Arise that'll be going on until I finish this game which I don't know how long that'll take I don't know but overall I'm interested in what wacky stuff like uh, the writers have up in their like sleeves this time. It's gonna be some crazy shit, I know. And yeah, I'm like very excited to like get into the Somnium worlds. We haven't actually gotten to a Somnium world yet, surprisingly enough. It'll probably be at some point in the later episodes. Anyways, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this episode of AI the Somnium Files Nirvana Initiative. If you did and would like to see more, please be sure to leave a like and a comment down in the comment section. And if you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe. I'd be very happy if you did that. And I promise you all that this Ethereum will be around for the next episode. Until next time, guys, I bid you all a fond farewell.